I was having breakfast, uh, getting ready to go for work, and um, I actually heard the first plane go into the building. Your sort of stomach just gives way and it goes into the surreal sort of situation like it could almost be a dream or a movie or something like that, but you are very conscious that something very tragic, tragic is taking place. I moved there in 87. I actually lived there for 20 years and then gradually got involved in, uh, in film and doing production design, you know, art direction. and. Ended up uh, taking on a project where we built these studios on, in, a, in, a, in a derelict building and uh, were able to rent them out. That's the building that was r across from the uh, Twin Towers. Even when I was at art school, I had a big connection with the early abstract movement in New York. My early work uh, had a lot of collage in it, and that was from looking at all the graffiti over the billboards and the subways. And uh, it was something about that idea of uh, seeing marks and things interact over the top of a photographic space. So I ended up um, ripping off uh, a lot of the, the, the billboard posters and taking them home and applying them to my paintings and then sort of working over the top of those. And I think, I guess that was a sort of the beginning of building up a sort of a, a layered space effect. The world changed um, after that. Now having that awareness, I think it just affected me, but like directly in my um, artwork, I was not consciously connected. It, I think it's sort of something that stayed with me forever, you know, and everyone else who saw it, you know, it's, um, and I think uh, still processing, you know, the, uh, you know, the events.